WSBW Weather. Good evening, I'm Jonathan Bass, in for Lee Solomon. Let's take a look at our temperatures around the area today. Well below freezing in the Santa Cruz Mountains, mid-20s to low 30s overnight, so heavy frost overnight. Daytime highs, low 50s to mid 70s, a little warmer on the coast. 54 in Santa Cruz, Watsonville got to 56 today. Around the Monterey Peninsula, more mid 50s for daytime highs, but overnight lows were a little bit more moderate, low 30s to upper 30s. Pacific Grove got as warm as 39, or just got down to 39 degrees last night. And the Salinas Valley, temperatures overnight were cooler as you head away from the ocean. King City got down to 25, Salinas only down to 33. Daytime highs once again, low 50s to upper 50s. And the Santa Clara Valley had those chilly overnight lows as well from 27 in Morgan Hill to 35 in San Jose. And then daytime highs also in the mid 50s. Temperatures right now around the country, about two thirds of the country is under a polar air mass. Great Falls is currently at 16 degrees, Omaha 24, Oklahoma City 31. Then we have a cold front stretching from Texas into the northeast and to the southeast of that cold front, much warmer temperatures in the 50s and 60s. For tomorrow, that cold front is forecast to push eastward, so we'll still have cold air over most of the nation. As that cold front does push eastward, it's a pretty powerful front. It's creating heavy precipitation from Texas all the way into the northeast today. It's got a strong tropical moisture feed from the Pacific as well as from what's left of Hurricane Sandra. It's now been downgraded to tropical storm, Sandra. The, that tropical system, that tropical moisture did bring heavy rain, freezing rain and snow to much of the U.S. today. There's enough moisture in there that there is a flash flood watch in effect from Texas all the way into southern Illinois all the way through the day tomorrow. Meanwhile, here is our satellite over the west coast. Just some high clouds over California today, but they quickly clear up. There, there was enough moisture, however, to bring some rain to the Southern California coastline, including Canalita Ina, some light snow as well in the Southern California mountains and in the Southern Sierra today. Here is our latest water vapor imagery. There is a low pressure system currently over Nevada. And that low pressure system is bringing cold air into our area, but it's fairly dry, as you can tell from the light white here. As we look north off the coast of Alaska, there is a high pressure system there. And that is currently breaking down. And that, as that breaks down, there is a system coming in from the Pacific towards Northern California. Here's that same system. As we head into tomorrow, that system swings south. By the time it gets into the Southern California area late Saturday, it starts to break a break apart and we'll just bring some clouds into that area. As we head into Sunday, another system approaches us. Now that's going to bring clouds to our area on Monday. That quickly clears out. We've got clear skies once again on Tuesday. As Wednesday approaches, another system comes in. As of Wednesday, we'll just get some clouds out of it. As we move into later in the week, we may be getting some rain out of that system. Forecast highs for tomorrow, mostly in the 50s in the northern half of the state. 59 for Eureka. Redding forecast at 54. 60 in Southern California, Los Angeles forecast for 68, San Diego 65 degrees. For tonight, we're going to be chilly once again, mid 30s to mid 40s. And if you're up till dawn, we'll be dropping down into the freezing temperatures once again. For tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 50s, mostly sunny, starting out frosty. Tomorrow, around the San Francisco Peninsula, temperatures in the mid 50s. The Santa Clara Valley, once again, temperatures in the mid 50s. Overnight lows dropping down to the 20s and lower 30s. The Salinas Valley looking a lot like the Santa Clara Valley. 50s during the day, 20s and 30s overnight. More moderate overnight temperatures around the Monterey Peninsula in the mid to upper 30s. Daytime highs in the mid 50s and in the Santa Cruz area. Mid 50s on the coast, cooling down to 52 by the time you get into Boulder Creek. Over the next seven days, we can expect temperatures to hold steady through Tuesday, through Monday, and then we start warming up Tuesday with a chance of rain Thursday into Friday morning. Overnight lows will be pulling out of those frosty conditions by the time we get into Tuesday. Dan, back okay. to you. Okay, very good. Should be nice stuff.